Happy spooky season everyone. I would say it's my favorite time of the year, except it's not because I'm a little scaredy cat. I'm more of like a Christmas kind of gal, but um, Last year we tried on some truly, truly cursed costumes and I was just having a little think, okay? I do that sometimes, <laughs> occasionally. You know, I kind of engage the grey matter. And I was just thinking, are there more bad costumes? Are there more cursed costumes that are in a similar league of curse to my Prince Philip oil painting print? And you're not gonna believe it? I did find them. Yes, <laughs> yes. So come with me because today we're gonna try on some cursed costumes. Now last time we were going for cursed costumes that were designed to be like somewhat attractive, I think, to someone. You know, they had that kind of aspect to it, but I didn't I didn't make that the rule this time. I just let the cursed items wash over me and whichever ones had the strongest aura of cursed, I added to my basket. And because of the cursed energy that is encoded into this video, we do not have a sponsor. Super valid. So I just wanted to give a little shout out because I kind of forget to mention it to my YouTube membership, AKA The Rat Royalty, which if you join, you get access to an exclusive Discord so Server, monthly live streams and some fun little extras as well. Without further ado, let's try on some cursed costumes that will permanently alter my digital footprint. Yes. <laughs> How do you like your eggs? <laughs> yes, that's right. It's everyone's favorite Halloween character. Egg. <laughs> it's actually kind of choking me. This is called men's egg costume, multicolored, one size. But like the top of the egg is kind of like pushing on my throat in actually kind of a spooky, scary way. So I suppose if you think of it like that, it is kind of scary because I do feel like I could asphyxiate while being egg. Now I understand that mainly you would be wearing this in kind of like a couple costume or like a group costume thing. Like someone's the egg, someone's the bacon. You know what, like I get it. But also thoughts on being individual egg. It's got a back part, but I'm pretty sure it's see-through. So if it's like dangerously see-through, I will blur this part and then you'll know. But the thought of like rocking up to a party being like, what's up? <laughs> and if you're one of those people who every time you go to a Halloween party or you have a Halloween costume, like no one knows what it is, you won't have that problem this time. It's very, it's quite simple. It's egg. You could wear fishnets and heels and say you're a sexy egg. You could have two people wearing the egg costume and you could have someone with like angel, like halo and wings and someone with like devil horns and you could be a good egg and a bad egg. Guys, I think I'm kind of pro the egg costume. It's unexpected. Everyone knows who you are. It's very easy. You can customize it to your level of comfort. You are totally welcome to wear pants. Okay, that's just a personal choice I made today. Sorry, just to clarify, I do have undergarments on under this. I'm not, I'm not. It would be fine if that's your choice for Halloween to do that. I, I'm choosing to not do that. Just so everyone knows, any potentially interested business parties who'd like to make a serious business deal with me, just know that I am semi-clothed under the egg. Also, once again, I am blessed because my boyfriend is working from home today. So he's allowing me to blindfold him in a completely family-friendly way. Okay. And get a reaction to this very cool, very normal Fun <laughs> So, you know, one time I was put into a gifted and talented program for women who should go into STEM. I'm gonna go get my boyfriend and have him react to all of this. <laughs> okay, remove your blindfold. <clears throat> oh! Okay. So, you're an egg. A, a rectangular egg. Which is funny because normally eggs are, I would say, no, it's got, like a circle. It's got round bits. But not really because it doesn't have anything to hold them there. So it is a, it is like a, a cube like egg. Am I your favourite source of protein? Um, yeah, I guess. Can you show me the back? Yeah. So there's nothing. It's just nothing on the back. I like how it just doesn't fit here it at all. It actually chokes me. Yeah. It's like all red. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh. It also is very loud. I don't know if you guys can hear, but when you're moving, it's like <laughs> making noise. Oh, well, it's if you played, oh God, what's that? The game, the the hook, the killing, dead, mm, dead by daylight? Yeah, that sounds is right. Is it dead after daylight? So. Dead, no, dead, dead by, by daylight. daylight. Is it? it? Yeah. I am a gamer, but if I was a character in Dead by Daylight, because mm. they need to, you need to be able to hear them or like have some kind of tell that they're coming. Yeah. But so if you like close your eyes, you could be like, you are like, oh my God, it's the egg. I did think you could do a costume, which would be two people wearing the egg, 
and one could be a devil and one could be an angel and it could be like bad egg and good egg. No, you would have one person be the egg, one person be the bakers there. <laughs> You'll have one person be the egg, and one person be lettuce, and one person be tomato. Lettuce! And you'd be a BLT. There's no egg in BLT! Color. That's bacon, lettuce, <laughs> You are right. I think I just add the egg, because if you have bacon, you've got to put the egg on there. So you're not- you don't like this one? Uh, no. Do you think it's cursed? It, like, is- like, it's really cool. It's, like, it's like hurting Yeah, it's wear. actually not comfortable at all. I wouldn't recommend this. Well, thank you. I I bet you can't wait to know what we have in store. Because oh, it's, it's this was like wait. this was mild. It gets worse. It only gets worse. Okay, well, that was the first one. Let's let's hop into costume number two. Here's Freddy. Fred. <laughs> this is the guy from the prequel to Five Nights at Freddy's. It's just one night with Fred. <laughs> I'm kidding, this is a Nightmare on Elm Street costume. Give him the old razzle dazzle. So this is the Women's Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy corset style costume. And I will let you know there were actually multiple different kind of sensual variations on this costume. But I thought this one was the funniest one because it has this detail. But in the picture, it also had them wearing the, the claw hand, the, you know, the hand from the movie. Can you tell I haven't seen the movie? I'm actually quite horror averse i've been trying to get a bit more into it like watching some like funny like horror movies like bodies 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 i feel like i could watch scream and be okay although i did like have nightmares when i saw the beginning scene because someone showed it to me on the bus on their ipod when i was in school and it really scared me and then yeah so but i understand he has the spooky thing and he like goes through a bed i think Plot aside, I made a little bit of an error because the picture showed the fun little hat, the fedora, which I thought would be good for doing bits. I could be like, my lady, you know? Because now I feel like it's not as funny because I thought it was funny because they had the fingies, but then you also have the fingies like on you. <laughs> which to my understanding, the original guy doesn't have fingies across his chesticles. I don't know, there's something about taking like a very horrific like slasher character and then being like what if bodycon strapless miniskirt maybe i can like ball them up like this and just pretend these are my hands is that doing anything for anyone Alrighty, let's grab the bf and get his thoughts i actually don't know if he's seen this movie either <laughs> okay Oh, yeah, okay. So, I, I see what they're going for. Um, no idea what it is. <laughs> what? I have no clue. It's me, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you're being killed. Um, no, guy. I think I'm him. No, no, no way. No, this is his, no, yeah. But he has the ha their hands. Yeah, well, in the picture, I also got hands. And a fedora, but they're not included. Right. Are you sure? Can you put your hand? No, it's attached. Oh. Okay. Um. Are you sure he wears something like this? Well, I think he wears a sweater of this. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, but see, but I'm a woman, so I can't wear a sweater. Well, you, you can. Women no, can wear I, no, I can't. I have to wear a strapless boob tube. Quality of these is like so poor. But I got the wristlets that the gloves are meant to go on, which are just, this one's coming apart. You've seen the movie. No, I haven't. No, neither have I. I know he has scissors on his hands. Yeah. No, like that's paws. that's Edward. They're like, he has They're, blades. Oh, maybe they are, maybe they are scissors. Uh, is it like a pocket oh, knife? Oh, no, I think he has a hand. I think he just has one One claw. hand? Yeah. One. No, two, but maybe he has two. Is it a scrapey? They're like knives on his fingers. Yeah, but maybe one scissors? No, I think they're both. Well, there's no way for us to possibly check. Can you show me the back? Oh, okay, ties. Still another thing where I'm like, don't know what that has to do with the movie. Uh, no, well, yeah, Freddy famously is like, yeah, I love, I I love thought, corsets. I thought when you said it was Nightmare on Elm Street, I thought you were like a sorority girl being killed by Freddy and he's like ripping her. Yeah, off. well, I thought, cause there's a, there's, he goes in the bed. Oh, there's, it kills there's a, a lot of people. I think that is, yeah, it's kind of his thing. I assume. This is worse than the egg. Yeah. Uh, what noise this does he make? Is he like, I don't know. I'm is he like, oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, 
Uh, tell me when the next one is. <laughs> yeah! Not really one for the books, but... Hey! <laughs> okay, I actually uh, quite like this one. The head is like a little unstable, but that's, you know, relatable. But look, the gloves can like come off. So it's actually like party practical because you can have full claw for fun, but also claw for white claw. <laughs> so this is a shrimp costume crawfish crustacean adult, one size for men and women. And I have to say, apart from this kind of like moving around, it's actually like very comfortable. It's quite, you know, roomy, relaxing. And there's a tail. It's a bit silly, but you could actually go, it's that little like shrinky thing from, is it Shark Tail? You know the one where it's like lying and it's like, my, I have a, I have a son or whatever. I don't know. I've only seen Shark Tail a few times. Like you could do a full group costume. Like someone could be the Shark Tail shrimp thing. Someone could be Oscar and someone could be um, Angelina Jolie fish. Actually, funnily enough, I watched Shark Tale a lot during my parents' divorce. So I don't, um, it's kind of lost in that memory hole. This is also reminding me of the times when I would dress up as my school mascot because we didn't just have one person being the mascot, which I feel like in some places they do. I don't know, is that like an overseas thing? I feel like it's an American thing where you have like the person who's like the mascot, but like no one knows they're the mascot. But in my school, we just like shared mascot duties. Like anyone could kind of like rent out the mascot. And like most of the time you would be a mascot for like sporty events, but I wasn't very sporty at school. So I would ask to rent the mascot costume for like a debating tournament. Well, one time we did this competition, which was about reading. Yeah. And we progressed to like the finals, which were held at a library. And I was the reserve on the reading team. So I asked if I could wear the costume. So I was just in this giant hideous mascot costume at like a public library. Um, yeah. Let's go see what my significant other thinks of this significant crustacean. Just let me get it prepared. Mm, the <laughs> anticipation. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, this one is good. Right? Is it's actually not bad. It's, it's just, a shrimp, right? Yeah. Well, it also said crustacean. Yeah, well, and that's fair. What's the other thing? Lobster. Crawfish? Oh, yeah. Crawfish. Crayfish? Crawfish? Yeah. The bayou. So you have a tail. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's like this is missing filling. No. Hello. Yeah, you can step back. And look at this. Um, look at this. Ready? Wow. <laughs> that is so useful. I know. Claw we should hold hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is more of a like if there's I don't know like a a shellfish county fair there will be businesses where it would be beneficial to have yeah a lobster suit this hang on falling off okay anyway next one oh moving on i can't see anything <laughs> oh, what are they what noise do they make oh my god i actually can't really breathe in that so i'll just um eh? <laughs> these are just like yaoi hands you know <laughs> If you couldn't tell, I'm a demogorgon from hit Netflix show Stranger Things. I did get a slightly larger size because it was like between this one and a very small one. A too small costume could be catastrophic and unwearable. A too large costume could just be a bit floppy and silly looking. And I think we all know what I'm gonna pick. You know, compared to before with like Frederica and the bone bra, this is kind of pretty much what they look like. They look like this, they're like, <laughs> I've completely forgotten what noise they make. But they just, they just like scream, right? They're like, <laughs> I also want to mention, you can't really see, but it comes with feet. They're meant to be like shoe covers, so you could wear some like boots with these on top. Like it's all, I actually think it's pretty like as a costume format. I think it's pretty funky and fun. And like the mask, it makes it quite obvious. It's so unpleasant to wear. So from like a wearing it all full together for more than five minutes kind of thing, I would say it's really cursed. And the fact that mine's a little bit floppy, so it's kind of like a deflated demogorgon also adds an element, but that's not, that's not their fault. That's my fault. I mean, like, it could be fun in like a group costume setting where like one person's a demogorgon and then you have like the Scripps Ahoy people and then like 80s children. <laughs> this could also quite easily double up as like a Last of Us clicker costume. Like, not really, but they're both kind of just like, you know. And if I only could make a deal. Okay, let's go surprise my boyfriend. Close your eyes, Angel. Okay, just stand there and just wait one moment. You'll, you'll know this one. Ready? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, what was today? 
Um, they click. They click. Clickers? No, it's not a clicker. Wait, what? It's not oh, a it's the other Stranger Things. <laughs> yeah. Demogorgon. Ah, yes. Yeah, yes. we're matching. You're in grey, I'm in grey. Oh wow. I think Demogorgons are a little more spindly. Oh, yeah, and you're more like sack-like. Yeah, he's kind of like a deflated gorgon. But no one's gonna like no. the crotch is so low that no one's gonna be like down there. So I think it is meant to be a bit baggy. Well. This is the first one I think that you could actually like, like probably wear. Oh, my shoe came off. It was never on. Oh, I knew I had one shoe on. I think so, yeah. I, oh. I, I was a bit confused, but yeah. Me when one of the children uh, cuts off my hand. Me when one of the other children cut off my other hand. <laughs> Apologies for the extra noise. I tried turning the fan off and then it like deflated and didn't look right. So here we go. Oh my gosh, it's just getting. Oh my god. Oh my god. This. Whoa! <laughs> it's too powerful. Hang on, let me. Let me just go check what it's called. Inflatable pig costume, adult fancy dress, blow up costume, suitable for party, Halloween, Christmas, pink. I'm worried that I'll like fall over if I don't. Hang on, let me just... It's like... See? Yeah, actually this is pretty cursed. You could do like three little pigs or um, perhaps some kind of political statement. You know, the bourgeoisie or something else. I don't feel like I really have to say a lot because I feel like this says a lot. Yeah, baby. I actually quite like this and it has the same hands as the lobster. So freedom of movement. The loud fan is annoying, but you know what? It does mean that you have like cool breeze coming through the costume. So even though this is like super sweaty parachute vibes, it's actually quite relaxing. It's like you have your own personal air con in the costume, which is my main criticism of a lot of these costumes. They're just very sweaty. And this is actually like very cool. From an aesthetic level, it's just, um, well, Okay, let's go to the beer. What is that noise? What do you mean? I can hear a noise. No. Right, give me a moment. I can hear a fan. It's no, so can't. loud. Okay, ready? Yep. That is deranged. <laughs> There's an actual fan. It just blows off. Yeah, there you go. That's good. That's better. That is crazy. Feel, feel in there. Feel the breeze of the fan. It, it's like cooling you down. <laughs> yeah. It's How, actually so comfortable. Is this a battery? How long would it even last? It's so. It's four. Triple, double A. Can you just turn it off from anywhere or? There's an inbuilt pocket, hang on. But I like immediately deflate. Right. Interesting. Pretty good all round. I think if anyone had, you know, a genuine interest in inflatable Sonic, they would also be enjoying this portion of the video. This is suspect. The shaping there is, uh, yeah. I would say the six others on the front are quite deep in yeah, the Yeah, but I, they don't even, you can't even tell that's what they are. Yeah, they look but like horseshoes. not all pigs have them, but they chose for this pig to have one. Maybe just for visual interest. I'm impressed. This is definitely the best one. You, would you wear this? No. It's really cool. Sure. Three little pigs. Yeah. Bourgeoisie pig. Oh, Animal Farm. And, oh my God. Animal Farm group costume. Oh, four legs good, two legs bad. Am I right? Am I right? George Orwell, I wish you were, is he alive? No, he's not. He's he definitely, is definitely dead. dead. George Orwell, RIP, I wish you could have seen inflatable pig costume. Okay, I gotta go to my meeting. Yeah, some, I get it. Some of us have. Thank you. Everyone say thank you, Bia. Oh no, and as soon as the fan goes off, it starts to get like humid and sweaty. No, uh-uh. 
no, this little pig wants out. <laughs> and there we have it. Those are the cursed Halloween costumes for another year. I really enjoyed these ones, to be honest. I feel like some of them actually turned out to be surprisingly good, if surprisingly aimless. You know what I mean? Like not an option that anyone would pick for a costume really, maybe unless you did it as a group, but like individually, they don't make any sense, but that kind of makes them funnier. And so that kind of indicates to me at least that you should do some of these costumes as an individual costume, because it's funny if your brain is broken if you're keen for more incredibly serious content like this, then make sure to subscribe because I'm a very serious individual. And even though this happened last year and this year, I promise you it will never happen again. I'm quite sweaty, I feel quite frazzled, and I'm also quite hungry. Surprisingly, quite a few of those were like food related. And if you're thinking the Demogorgon, yes, I just want to munch crunch on those little phalanges. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.